Hi, my name is Ruana, and this is my first video for Trans by Death. Uh, my topic uh, for this video is preparing for full time. I'm sorry. Yeah, preparing for full time. Um, I am full time. I have been full time or mm, I haven't been counting uh, almost a year now almost I think a year next month um, I've also been transitioning for uh, a little over a year um, so I came out to everyone back in December 2012 and I kind of, uh, I'm 35 now, and I didn't want to waste any more time. I didn't know how long the process took, but I knew that the changes was slow. I knew that it would take a long time to reach where I wanted to be at, so I wanted to get moving quick. Um, it wasn't so much the fact that I was in danger of myself if that makes sense it's that I, I I didn't want I mean I had made up my mind I was going to do this I was going to transition I, I didn't want to fight it anymore I didn't want to be miserable anymore and once I made that decision I, I didn't want anything to hold me back didn't want to hold myself back at all. I just went all into it. Um, I prepared for full time basically by coming out to everybody, which was my first step um, because I didn't want to hide it anymore. And I didn't want to be like, two, living two lives, you know, like some superhero. It's way too stressful, and I don't have time for that. I work, and I'm a single parent. I don't have time to be, you know, putting on makeup, taking off makeup, you know, painting my nails, taking off my nails, all the time. Mm -mm. No, thank you. So I came out to everybody so that I could just be myself all the time. Uh, but I still didn't go full-time for a while after that. I wanted to be on hormones first. That's a personal choice for me. Some people go full-time long before they start hormones. As, you know, it, it's different for everybody. But for me, I wanted to be on hormones first. I wanted to feel the difference in me. I didn't want... I wanted to have the confidence to look at people and say I'm one. And once I had hormones in me, and was transitioning physically, and felt different mentally, then I started to feel comfortable saying, I, I am a woman. And I started dressing as a woman at work. Uh, work was the last thing, the last place that I, uh, I came out full time at. Uh, but I had come out to everyone before then. Going full time was not a huge deal as much as I thought it would be. Because everybody knew already. I came out to my bosses, rumors spread through people, I came out on social media, everybody knew. Hey, Dewey's gonna become a girl. Pretty intriguing prospect. <laughs> so, another thing that I did, I had been collecting clothes for a long time, but a lot of the clothes were not really everyday clothes. A lot of the clothes that I had were delicates. Mm. 
evening wear. Nothing that you would really wear out and about. I did have some articles of clothes, but they were like club wear and that sort of thing. So I started about three months before I started dressing full time. Went out to a thrift store. I must have hit up that thrift store like I don't know, ten times over those three months. Each time spending twenty, thirty, forty dollars. And it was <clears throat> Salvation Army. So they it was really cheap and they had deals all the time <clears throat> whenever I'd go in there. It was already cheap and they would be like fifty percent off the stuff with red tags or you know, thirty percent off the stuff with blue tags or whatever. They just want to move that stuff because they keep getting stuff in. They want to move it, move it. And because of my body type, that I'm really tall and thin, uh, it was hard to find things. But I found nice things because they're there and nobody buys them because they don't fit. There's not so many women with my build, I guess. Which was cool. I had got some really nice clothes. Sometimes stuff wouldn't fit. And some stuff actually fit better before I got some padding. Because I have been. My body's been changing. Um, it's changed noticeably enough to make my clothes fit differently. Um, but that's a great way. The thrift stores. I replaced my whole wardrobe for maybe a couple hundred bucks over that span of three months. And I still go there. <clears throat> I still go there to get clothes. Um, but now I don't feel as rushed. I'm looking for particular things. <laughs> I'm becoming more of an experienced shopper. I look for things that match. I look for outfits. We'll make good outfits. Um, I guess when I started, I was looking for what's cool. You know, what do I like? I was looking for what do I like, not what looks good together. And there's a difference. Slightly. If you can find stuff that you like that looks good together, that is a great outfit. Great outfit. If you find stuff that you like that doesn't match anything, you get it, and hopefully it will uh, come in handy someday. Usually most things you can wear with a pair of jeans, if you, nothing else, or a nice skirt with similar color schemes or whatever. Uh, but yeah, some outfits are the great ones, you gotta really... Or the, anyway, shopping is a big thing. Practicing. I started getting laser hair treatment, and oh my gosh, it helps so much. I highly recommend it if you can scrape together the money, even if you have to dip into other things at first. It makes such a huge difference almost immediately. Um, and the hair still grows. It's not like, poof, hair's gone. But it's such a dramatic reduction. I don't even wear makeup anymore. Uh, I don't have to, so I don't. <laughs> Sometimes I do. When I dress up, I wear makeup. But, hmm. That was a big thing when I started coming out and I was going to go full time I'm not good with makeup and I don't like wearing it all the time I don't like having it on my face all the time um, I don't like being dependent upon it particularly uh, but I thought that I would have to um, in my preparation for full time I learned how to make my 
makeup look better. Um, how to cover up my shadow. Because that's important. I mean, it's not vital. Um, but I'm sure most, most people who are going full-time as a woman do not want a beard shadow. I mean, ideally, and I know there's controversy over the term passing, but ideally we would like to pass. Um, what are the preparations? I don't know, I think that those are the main things that I did to prepare for my coming out full time was coming out to everybody first, uh, replacing my wardrobe, and learning how to do makeup slash hair removal. I really wanted to wait until my hair was longer before I came out full time, but I didn't. I came out, I started going full, dressing full time when my hair was about to my middle middle of my ear. So you can see the hair makes a big difference. If you can wait and you want long hair, it makes a big difference. Alright, I hope um that I did this in time. <laughs> I don't know if I, I missed the deadline. Uh, but I look forward to the, making my next video for you next week. And take care. Bye.